In this example, we'll see how to um, how to calculate these um, forces and shears and torque on a shaft. So, if you have a um, shaft that is getting a torsional load, for example, a shaft uh, like this, and uh, getting a torsional load, like twisting load like that, and then um, you can apply some load torsion the other way so then uh, how much um, what kind of shear stress it develops uh, and things like that check the other videos on the theories this is just an example of um, the torsion shear stress and design of shaft so this problem it says that uh, this shaft is designed based on using the outer diameter uh, 8 inch and then the inner diameter uh, six inch and then this is to be used for a machine part factor of safety three is used and then use the ultimate set strength to get the value for the allowable we know from earlier that uh, the allowable stress shear stress tau can be calculated by using the ultimate shear strength and then divide by the factor of safety so in this case for the stainless steel material the ultimate shear stress is 60 ksi divide by factor of safety 3 so that's going to be 20 ksi allowable stress now then we know that equation how much torque this problem is asking uh, find the maximum torque that can be transferred by this so maximum torque or allowable torque same thing is the tau allowable times the polar moment of inertia by c so for a hollow shaft like this the polar moment of inertia so material is here inside that piece is vacuum so j we can do pi by 32 outer diameter power 4 minus outer inner diameter power 4 so if we insert all this value we're gonna get uh, 275 inch power 4 so the outer diameter is 8 inches inner diameter 6 inches so that's the um, value for the uh, j now the 20 ksi allowable stress times the 275 power 4 inch power 4 is the j value and c is basically the distance from the center of rotation to the outer fiber so that would be then uh, basically diameter uh, radius of this piece so it's going to be 4 8 by 2 4 if you do all this calculation then this the maximum torque that we can transfer from the shaft i calculated that uh, 1375 inch uh, that would be pound lb dot inch so that's the answer to this question the next question is asking um, if you make this same shaft using a solid use the same material but now it's solid it's not hollow shaft then the diameter for that solid shaft can be calculated uh, 5.29 so how much it can carry now so same equation torque how much torque it can transfer so tau torque max or allowable we can do tau allowable times j divide by c now in this case we got the um, torque tau allowable we calculated that earlier 20 ksi using that factor of safety and ultimate strength now j we have to calculate that so this is basically pi by 32 times d power 4 this time it's a solid shaft so there is no subtraction or anything so pi by 32 times 5.29 inch power 4 so i calculated that uh, 77 inches i'm rounding off all these numbers inch power 4 so 77 inch power 4 and then c would be half of that diameter so 5.29 uh, inch time by 2 
so this is calculated 581 581 thousand pounds inches so that's the answer to these questions now it says that use the same amount of material now you make a little bit bigger so what change you get so first you had eight inch outer diameter six inch inner diameter then you make it a make a solid shape using the same material with 5.29 inches now if you use the same amount of material um but use 10 inches outer diameter then the inner in, inner diameter can be calculated 8.485 so well, how much it can transfer now so that's the question asking so we can say same formula torque max or allowable is shear stress allowable shear stress times j only thing changes is that polar moment of inertia j so the polar moment of inertia j we can calculate pi by 32 diameter is square which is 10 inches sorry the power 4 and then minus inner diameter which is uh, 8.485 inch power 4 you can see this polar moment of equation in the back cover of the book in any textbook so i calculated this one Hopefully my calculation are right. So 473 inch power 4. 473 inch power 4. Now C once again is the outer diameter. So which is 10 by 10 inches by 2 which is 5 inches. So if I insert all these values 20 KSI allowable we calculated using factor of safety and ultimate strength and then 473 inch power 4 divided by 5 inches so if i calculate this torque transfer is 1892 uh, inches so that's the maximum torque that can be transmitted now you can see the same amount of material if you increase the diameter and make it hollow it can actually carry more torque so this time is 1892 the solid shape only can carry 581 and then with a smaller diameter hollow shaft can carry about 1375 so a lot of times we have restriction we cannot just make everything hollow so then it's a different situation however you should know that the hollow shaft is more stronger than a solid shaft now this problem is asking how do you calculate you know all these chains from a hollow shaft to a solid shaft if you use the same amount of material so it says that uh, use the outside diameter six inches and four inches inside diameter and meld this thing make a solid shaft and how to be the diameter for that solid shaft so if you use the same amount of material we can say material amount mass one is equal to the mass of the solid shaft so this is for the hollow shaft it's for the so you can say mass is equal to rho times the volume and then rho of the material of the solid shaft and the volume of the solid shaft. now the density rho is same in both cases so we can write v of volume of the hollow shaft is equal to volume of the solid shaft now we can write the volume for the hollow shaft is pi by 4 the outer diameter is square minus inner diameter is square times the length of the shaft so imagine uh, it's a cylinder type of shape and then pi by 4 solid shaft would be just simply diameter square times same length l so then we can pi by 4 cancel l cancel from both side so we have 6 square minus 4 square equal to d square so diameter for that solid shaft would be i calculated 4.47 inches so that's basically explains some example of that torsion shaft diameter calculation and we'll show some more example on other equations.